my name is Alberto, like he told you. I'm from Spain. Uh, my accent is not the best. Um, I, I'm here to speak about how to hack all the transport network of a country, how to make black hacking, how to hack critical infrastructures. Okay? So let's begin. Uh, this is the, the index of the main topics I'm, I'm going to speak about in this, in this speech. Okay? Uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. Uh, this is me when I was pre, and these things, handsome, handsome for men, okay? And I'm from Valladolid. Valladolid is a city 200 kilometers on the north of Madrid. And uh, I'm 24 years old. I'm single. If anyone wants to, okay? Uh, no, I'm only like girls. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I study maths and IT, system IT. I don't know how to say in English, maybe it's the same, the career, uh, system IT. In Salamanca. Salamanca is another beautiful uh, city in, in Spain. It's near from, the, from Madrid, two hours. This is Salamanca. This is Salamanca, it's so cool. And I want to, to introduce myself, uh, telling to you how I learn English, because this is very important to me. Uh, I was in a university city, Salamanca is a university city. In Salamanca there are a lot of young people, but not only Spanish people. There are a lot of parties. This is the main square in Salamanca in the Christmas. Okay, all the, study, all the students go to the main squares and drink a little bit. Um, I, in these parties, I met a lot of foreign girls, foreign people. Um, from, so I want to appreciate you, appreciate the American girls. I want to appreciate the Irish girls. I want to appreciate the Ibiza people who is going there to learn English with me. I want to say thank you to all of you, all of your girls, because they really helped me to, to improve my English. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, where did I get this material? I'm going to talk about some material that I, I'm going to be clear in this. I want to be clear in this. I did not do it. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. Really. Okay? I just download a torrent that I found around. Okay? I don't have the knowledge to do those things. I just look. I was looking for porn. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, that's all. Perfect. Clear. This thing must to be clear. Okay. Uh, who I think that are the uh, the really guys who who did it? Who did this research? Uh, I, I imagine that something like that. <laughs> um. Someone like this guy. I, I get some pictures in the torrent, and this picture was around, and I thought this was the really guys who did all this stuff. Okay, uh, related research. Uh, there was a similar talk about the same topic that I'm going to talk this, this, this evening, now. Um, this is Anatomy of a Subway Hack on DEF CON 16. Uh, it was a special, my name is Alberto, like he told you, I'm from Spain, uh, my accent is not the best. Um, I, I'm here to speak about how to hack all the transport network of a country, how to make black hacking, how to hack critical infrastructures, okay? So, let's begin. Uh, this is the, the index of the main topics I'm, I'm going to speak about. In this, in this speech, okay? Uh, first of all, I want to introduce myself. Uh, this is me when I was pre, and these things, handsome, handsome for men, okay? And I'm from Valladolid. Valladolid is a city 200 kilometers on the north of Madrid. And uh, I'm 24 years old, I'm single. If anyone wants to, okay? Uh, no, I'm only like girls. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
Okay, uh, I study maths and IT, system IT. I don't know how to say in English, maybe it's the same, the career, uh, system IT. In Salamanca. Salamanca is another beautiful uh, city in, in Spain. It's near from, from Madrid, two hours. This is Salamanca. This is Salamanca, it's so cool. And I want to, to introduce myself, uh, telling to you how I learn English, because this is very important to me. Uh, I was in a university city, Salamanca is a university city. In Salamanca there are a lot of young people, but not only Spanish people. There are a lot of parties. This is the main square in Salamanca in the Christmas. Okay, all the, study, all the students go to the main squares and drink a little bit. Um, I, in this Paris, I met a lot of foreign girls, foreign people. Um, from, so I want to appreciate you, appreciate the American girls. I want to appreciate the Irish girls. I want to appreciate the visa people who is going there to learn English with me. I want to say thank you to all of you, all of your girls, because they really helped me to, to improve my English. Okay, so. And where did I get this material? I'm going to talk about some material that I, I'm going to be clear in this. I want to be clear in this. I did not do it. No, it's not a joke. Really. Okay? I just downloaded a torrent that I found around. Okay? I don't have the knowledge to do those things. I just look. I was looking for porn. That, that's all. <laughs> okay, that's all. Perfect. Clear. This thing must to be clear. Okay. Uh, who I think that are the uh, the really guys who who did it, who did this research? Uh, I, I imagine that something like that. Um, someone like this guy. I, I get some pictures in the torrent and this picture was around and I thought this was the really guys who did all this stuff. Okay, uh, related research. Uh, there was a similar talk about the same topic that I'm going to talk this, this, this evening, now. Um, this is anatomy of a subway hack on DEF CON 16. Uh, it was a special talk because there was so many conflicts. You can see here, I, can I read? Uh, court blocks my MIT students uh, from sewing subway hack. Due to order halt to DEF CON speech on subway car hacking, so on. Okay? So this is the related research. I'm going to speak about something like that that I found in the torrent. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wait. First of all, the first target is a, is a, a kind of machine who is in the subway stations, okay? It's just an informative machine, only to see the, the best uh, route to going from this station to this other station, the best route to um, uh, anyway, the information, information stuff, only information, that politics information and uh, this kind of shit. Okay, so the, this machine, uh, I call them p uh, Pinger machines. They say, try me. It, this is not the real machine, okay? This is just another machine that say, try me. <sighs> All of you, if you see a machine that say, try me, you try, of course. So. The Pinger machine. Uh, there were a lot of informative machines in the subway station, like I told you before, okay? The machine has informative function to, to search the fastest route or tourist info. That's all. That's all. This is a stupid machine at first. But then, okay, um, there are many, many ways to touch in. It's a touch screen machine, okay? You touch the, the screen, and there are so many ways to go to get some free internet time, to surf on the internet, to check your Facebook, to check your emails. It's very easy. This is so 
you have to touch this, uh, this, this icon, then you have to touch in this hyper wrinkle, then you have to, to check, to, to touch this, this thing, and then you have the Google for you, okay? This is so easy, this is not important here. And there are some protection because uh, they try to download a uh, executable X, X file, okay? But there are so many restrictions, can I, okay, this stuff. But is there anything better than a cell? Okay, this, this, this web, this, this machine has a print option. You, you say print to a file. Then you go to system, 30, system 32 and you drag and drop to the CMD exe, execution. That's all. Not... Trivial, trivial. Okay, then when the guys, these pretty guys that I showed you before, um, uh, has a, a command cell, a uh, CMD, they connect to the FTP and download an, uh, a server of a rat, remote application tool. Okay, that was all. And here you have the black sage or the rat remote application tool with the, to, to look the, the files and all the stuff. This, perfect. But I want to be clear, this is a stupid machine, okay, at first. It's just for informative function. They, I, uh, uh, the, girl, the boys who did all this, this stuff <laughs> thought that it's not important, there is no juicy files, there is no juicy application into these machines. But looking for juicy files, okay. Um, the machine just see the router, okay? First of all, the typical network, net, network scan to see if there are a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, boom, boom, other hosts in the same, in the same network and this stuff, but there is only the, the router. The router was the only one who we can see. But the router has not the default, the default password, but it's okay. But we, they, uh, look at the, at the application who was installed, installed in, in this machine. And they found this application. They said pingeador, okay? It's like pinger, ping, to make a ping, I, C, M, P, ping, okay? Pingeador, pinger machine. I don't know what's that, so. I look around, they look around. Um, <laughs> uh, there was, there was an interesting application called Pingeador. There was a config file with the SQL server connection string. Perfect. The IP, <laughs> uh, there was a um, public IP, not internal IP. Perfect. Okay. But anyway, I say, well, what was that? This is, this is a stupid machine in the middle of the station. This, I'm pretty sure that this application is not, is not bad, okay? It's, it's harmless, a harmless application. But I am, uh, how it works is uh, he makes a ping to, to, the, to the IP of the server and so on, the server has to connect and this stuff, but here you have all the, connect, all the tables, uh, I make a string, just strings to get the, the strings of the, of the, of the uh, application, and I get the tables, the columns, I get uh, some info about the people who developed this application, and finally I realized that this application uh, uh, is used to control all the stats of all the country, of all the trains of all the country, okay? It was the, the stats of um, the time of arrive, the history, and this shit. This is a, a this is a, a stupid machine, a machine just to 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 look the faster road to go some some somewhere. But there is installed this kind of application. Why? Why? Stupid, really stupid. I had the connection string. Use they have the connection string. User password and all of this. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I don't see here. I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Possible bugs. Possible bugs. 
uh, some parameters are sent to the application. But one of them, called ID terminal, is extracted from a txt file, txt file. OK? So <laughs> OK? Just remember, this is a SQL server. If we have the enough privilege, we, have, we, we are able to draw a uh, drop database, uh, ex exec XP, CMD cell, net user to other user, and connect remotely to the system, or uh, just select all the statics of the, uh, of the subway, or just to get some info, some juicy info about the frequency, status, historial, all this stuff, okay? I have a funny story because uh, someday all these machines disappear. So these guys uh, went uh, to, the, to an sta some station to ask to a security man why this machine was not in his place, in his place that the machine used to be. And this guy said to me, said to them, okay, 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 I wanted to be clear. If I say me, this is because it's so personal for me. I found this story. And, uh, Okay. Yeah, oh, it's true. My English is the worst. I'm sorry. I was to say. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, so I go there, and the, the, uh, the man told to me that, okay, this machine was removed like two, two weeks ago, but um, uh, do you know I am a hacker? Oh, yeah? You look like you do, you, your job is security, security man. You don't like, like, you don't look like a hacker. Do not have this cool hair dress. Uh, and uh, he, he says, yeah, I know a, a way to go to check my email. And I say, oh, your password is mine. OK. <laughs> yes, more or less, he was this guy. OK, OK, let's, let's continue. Getting cheapest subway tickets. This is the kind of tickets used in this city that I don't want to say the name. Uh, they try to read a row, okay, the tickets, the magnetic uh, strip. They try to read, to, to read it in, a, um, in, a, in this thing, the credit card reader, okay? But uh, it doesn't work because if you if you strip faster or not faster, there's different, the dump is different, and okay, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work. This is the sectors and prices. This is very important. Okay, in these cities, there are a lot of sectors. You can see A, B1, B2, you can see it? Down in the, in the left, in the right, okay? If you want to travel uh, farther, you have to pay more. Typical, okay? Um, this is the, those are the, the prices to travel, okay? If you go to the A zone, you just pay like 51 euros, uh, I thought. 51, yeah. If you go farther, you pay 123. There is a lot of price, a lot of prices and sectors. But you can read Tercera Edad. It's like uh, retired people, old people, Okay, the old people, the people who is older than 65 years old, uh, they just pay 11, 11 euros in all sectors. Cool for them. This is the monthly pass, okay? There are two important things in this, in this pass that, uh, okay. This is the important thing, this number, well, it's not a number, these letters and numbers, Q, bah, this thing. And the barcode. Do you see the barcode? The barcode and this pass. Okay? There are two important things. Okay. When I want to. Oh, and another thing is important too. Do you see B2 in the middle, in the head of Lisa Simpson? B2 is the, the, the sector. Okay? Three things. The sector, this number, this string, 
and the barcode, OK? The barcode in the past is used to renew the monthly ticket, OK? So I have the, the barcode. I introduce the barcode into the machines. And then I pay, and I get the new ticket of this month, OK? The barcode has uh, this format. But they realize that the barcode is a character and the past number I showed you before, OK? This is the barcode. So if, you, if we change this character, we can get the other, all other, other people older people ticket, so it's so cheap. We can travel with the, with the older people ticket, and we can generate in the machines, it's not to clone, this is not. I'm, they, are, they, they was playing for the, for the tickets, okay? But they has not uh, 65 years old. So everybody knows, WFAS, a fuzzing, fuzzing tool, uh, contest application tool, uh, uh, the barp intruder, or I don't know, Hydra, to make fuzzing, fuzzing things. But the new fuzzing techniques for them was Fuzzyman was a guy with barcode trying every barcode in the machines to get what's the real character that he has to use to get the older ticket. Okay, so finally, like after try a lot of barcodes, introducing the barcodes in the machines. OK, finally, we got this ticket. This is a 65 years old ticket that, we, that they generate in the machines. OK, we can, they can generate any, any, any number. This is the pass. Uh, it's hacker. Oh, nice. Uh, I did not realize until now. <laughs> OK, so they, thank you. They can travel. Uh, in all the sectors, only paying the 11 euros. OK, so next. <sighs> OK, casualties. The ticket is yellow, do you see? Yellow ticket. The usual ticket is orange or, or, or white. So if uh, someone of the staff look at you when you are introducing the ticket in the machine, to enter in the subway, or and uh, this this ticket works with the subway, with the buses, with the local trains, with all this stuff. So if some if someone someone of the staff uh, is looking at you when you are in, uh, introducing your ticket in the machines to go to the to the subway, they say hey, it's <laughs> no come here. So there our our friends I told you before had some casualties. 93 euros because this guy look at him when he was introducing the tickets. So, but our friends that was so so smart make some improvements in the tickets. <laughs> okay, they just cut the the magnetic strip 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 the magnetic strip and paste it in a usual in a usual ticket. So, finally, <laughs> RFID, next target. Okay, uh, there is a new RFID system in the subway. It works with a zone only, do you a, a, a sector. Okay, in the middle of the of the town only. Okay, but RFID is used by the staff. <laughs> okay, the staff holds his RFID in the in the in the neck, like you with the with the batch, with the batches. Okay, so it's easy to get close to them to ask a question. <laughs> they are so kind. They are so kind. Yep. So if we mix an Ultrabook or any other computer and a touch tag, this is a reader of RFID tags, just a reader, and you go in for a visit. <laughs> this is, um, this, I think, I don't know because I'm not the guy, but I think 
that this is a um, cigarette box, and you can put the, the touch stack inside the cigarette box and going with the cigarette box asking for a question. Oh, sorry, where is the faster way to go to Bob? Bye. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, you have the dump of the RFID and you just this RFID hacking, okay? To process the information, to get the, the password of it, of it, okay, to get the password and clone it. And finally, you have a RFID key, a key chain and you can access to all the sectors with this shit, okay? I love the, the word shit in English, so shit. Okay, thank you. Security cameras, next target. There is a big camera circuit in all the transport network, okay? All the transport network is, is recorded all the time. There are several control centers like this, you can see that was the operating system used by the, by the staff, okay, XP. Um, and there is a wireless network. There is wireless network. So many IPs in all the transport network. <laughs> okay? What? Nice. But, but, wait. The SSID are hidden. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a lot of antennas, so many, pardon, uh, so many antennas, planar, omnidirect omnidirectional, okay, that's okay. And there, is, th there are APs that are accessible from everyone. Why? Man in the middle, mm, so easy, okay, but our guys was nice guys, the guys I saw you before, so they did not, did not do anything with these things. They use another AP. Okay, once inside, there was, there was not the, the HCP, oh, but Wireshark is our friend, ARP2, of course. So uh, the guys just have to, have to wait to get an ARP packet to know what's the range of the IPs, to manually put themselves his, this IP, this subway, this, they, Okay, first of all, uh, ARP scan, they found three hosts, the, uh, there was a, the, uh, our, our friend, our AP friend, the router and some other host. Port scanner of the host, typical uh, network pen testing, typical. I'm not a magician. They was not a magician. So, <laughs> uh, router, the router was, uh, I don't know, do you see, do you see the, the ports open? Yeah, no, okay. Wait. Uh, 21, 23, 80, and 1998. Nice. Okay, this is the router, but this is the other host. This is my favorite. 23 and 443. Oh, nice. And uh, 50,000. Strange. Okay, I, they saw 443 SS, uh, HTTPS, so they access to this host by uh, throw through it uh, HTTPS, and that's what they found. Oh, invalid certificate. Okay, self-signed certificate. This is the wait. S SPC SPC. What's that? Okay, I'm. Continues, and I arrive here. They arrive here. SPC, SPC 5300. I have no idea. They have no idea what was that. 
I, 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 don't, I don't have idea. I just look the torrent and I find this information. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, I, I found about this, this hardware because it's a hardware, okay? And I look what it is used for. And there, there is a web server that, this is the web server, the, the slide before. And you can see, this is, okay, you can control through internet, GMS, wireless detectors, wireless detectors, fire warnings, IP cameras, audio keypad, door control. <laughs> so, like in a pen testing, I have not the knowledge to do that, but some friend told me that a pen testing is doing like this. Uh, man in the middle, an invalid certificate was used. So it's too easy to use our, our signature certificate in the middle of the, of the client, and we have the credentials in clear. And this is it's, it's cool because there is an invalid certificate, so the, the admin is, is used to accept the invalid certificate who looks at uh, the fingerprint of the, of the certificate. Okay, I know you are so Greeks, and maybe you are. You did, you do it. Um, but we can go deeper, more funny. Do you remember the port uh, 5,000? Uh, no, 50,000? 50, do you remember in the port scan? Okay, there is an IP from another net mask, Net, net mask, it's okay. So we can take our range and we can start another pen testing on this network, and this network, it's okay. But there is, oh, uh, wait. There is a other, other IP who is sending the same, the same UDP, the, the same length, and all the same by other IP? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe my friends know, but they didn't write nothing in the, in the, uh, in the torrent, so I don't know. But we can go deeper. But we can use an invalid certificate, send it by us, and so on. And finally, our last, last target. Train machines used to print tickets from a paid trip. Change tickets, upgrade ticket, cancel ticket, buy tickets with credit cards. Nice. But okay, there, there was an update. Recently, there was an update. Uh, before that, anyone was able to get a login panel. Okay, I want to, to clearize this. Uh, is the, the machines were, were um, touch, touch, uh, touch screen machines, like our first friend. Okay, touch stack, uh, touch screen machines. So there was a, a place in the in the screen. You you press this in this zone and you get a a, a login panel. Four digits, the four numbers only to get into the into the admin panel. Social engineering, do you know about that? So we say, oh, what happened with my ticket? I don't know, I introduced my credit card and it's, in, it's in, into the machine, what happened? Oh, wait, 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 four numbers. <laughs> okay, but not now. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, this function disappeared. But we can get full access of all of these machines. These machines are present in all the country, all the stations of all the country, okay? I have a video here. This is the way to access to the CMD in a video. Going, one going, select the destiny, next. Change the um, the date of the of the travel, and what's that? <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. Okay, and do you know 
here? Do you know this stuff? Who is here? These things? Okay. The, look. Okay. Complements administration. Internet Explorer function. That's all. Complements administration. Internet Explorer has this option. You can click here, down. Okay, it's a little geek. Only here. Okay, but to get this these windows, and then you push a lot. Uh, you press a lot of time there, and not responding. So, thank you, Microsoft. Oh, uh, no response. Close. Oh. <laughs> but it's a touch screen. They fail sometimes. Okay, but finally. Okay. Uh, do you know it, this is small? The 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 the, this, the keyboard on this on the screen is small, and this is a touch screen. This is a shit. Okay, you you want to press A and you press S. You want to press W and you press M. Okay, but we have our cell, our CMD. Juicy applications. We are there. There's an internal application who has several fun uh, functions. Accept any credit card, turn on off the alarm, temperature of the machine. You can control the temperature of the machine. <sighs> what? Um, you can open the door, the machine door. So, so, so many stats and parameters of the machine. This is the application. Okay, here there are a lot of uh, so many so many options. You can do a lot of things with the machines. Remote control. All the time they was behind uh, in front of the machine, with the security cameras here, with the security uh, hacking boys around there. Okay, so this is this is important. So the guys that did all of it, and um, wants remote control, like every one of you. So uh, there is an application for the remote control, but it can be only used if you are in the internal network. So this is not useful. So they want to remote control the machine, of course. They try to install a Trojan, downloading the, ser uh, the server of the Trojan by, through uh, HTTP or HTTPS, but all the requests was for, were forbidden. Only internal, only internal web page were allowed. Tried to use FTP. It didn't work. Oh shit! Uh, losing hope. Uh, the machine resolves DNS request. Nice. So they thought, they thought UDP traffic was allowed. Okay, easy. They tries using FTP through UDP. TFTP. Okay, do you know old fashioned TFTP? <laughs> okay, T TFTP is installed in all, in all Windows versions. Uh, the machines run XP professional, so there was a TFTP client was installed in this machine, so perfect. But, timeout. It, it didn't work. But they still. Thought all UDP, tra UDP traffic were allowed, but only using 53 uh, port DNS. So um, TFT used 69 by default. So they changed the uh, TFTP uh, control settings settings to change the TFTP destination uh, port to the 53. And then in his house, they make a NAT to redirect. Do not NAT, but. Time out. Yeah. 
But finally, they realize that this is the network map. The machines, router, DNS, a firewall, and the lovely internet. Okay, uh, all the traffic uh, sent from router to internet is drop dropped. It's not allowed. But the DNS has a rule in the firewall that allow all the traffic only if the traffic uh, uh, come from this DNS. If you make an NS lookup uh, directly to Google, it doesn't work. You have to use this DNS and use the implementation of the DNS protocol. Okay? If I have no information, I ask to another DNS and this, these things. So, this is the same I, I, um, I told you. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, okay. To remotely control the machine, they had to use a RAT, remote application tool, through DNS. No, right? There is an interesting project called DNSCAT, who makes something like that. But our friends uh, were a bunch of geeks. <laughs> you know, this friend, uh, oh. I think it's maybe more than the first one, the real guy. <laughs> I think so. So these guys uh, developed a modular rat using Python. Yeah, Python. It's heavy because you have to use Py2x to convert, to load all the libraries. It's heavy. But it's so easy to develop, it's too easy, okay? The RAT server, okay, the server who was installed in the machine, in the hacked machine, um, just asked to a DNS server for a register, okay? The DNS uh, uh, responds, and if some of the response has some pattern, the infected system did some action, okay? If you, uh, if you resolve my domain, um, it's uh, one, two, three, 52, the, DN the DNS tool uh, take uh, the 52 and says, oh, 52 is dear, a directory listing, maybe, or is, whatever. Um, uh, it did not establish, establish a connection, okay? Nice. Finally, the executable file was downloaded using TXT records of a controlled DNS server, okay? We have to install the server, the server of this Python tool. So, uh, oh. bah, perfect. They use BAT to make the DNS request. The machine was remotely under their control. Perfect. Pivoting. The operating system used in the machine was XP as, uh, Service Pack 2. Somebody knows. NetAPI? NetAPI or NetAPI or NetAPI in Spanish? And this is the final slide you can hold. Uh, once the machine and all the other NetAPI machines was under control, it's time to look for UEC application and files. All the machines stored without encryption the CC dumps of the clients, the credit card of all the clients. It's not necessary to make a hooking of the application. It's not necessary. Is there? Okay. It means that the bad guys, if those guys I told you before, if they were bad, bad guys, they are, they are able to get all the CC dumps of all the customers of the entire transport network of the country, of all the country. Okay, so, epic fail. Okay, that's, that's all. I want to thank you for listening to me here today. I want to, wait, uh, I want to appreciate the, the real guys that did all I have told you. To all of you for listening to me today, of course. This is, I'm so proud to be here, to be with you. To my family, a friend, this is, yeah, I appreciate that. And all those who want to understand how and why things work. Okay, continues in this way. Thank you. No.
Oh, another, oh, we can do it here because I've also got to take down the room. But, okay. Okay. We are going to be doing Q and A in uh, Q and A room one. If you want to follow us, and yeah, that's it for this room. Talk because there was so many conflicts. You can see here. I can I read. Uh, Court blocks my MIT students uh, from sewing subway hack. Due to orders had to DEFCON speech on subway car hacking, so on. Okay? So, this is the related research. I'm going to speak about something like that that I found in the torrent. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wait. First of all, the first target is the. It's a, a kind of machine who is in the subway stations, okay? It's just an informative machine, only to see the, the best uh, route to going from this station to this other station, the best route to, um, uh, anyway, the information, information stuff, only information, that politics information, uh, this kind of shit. Okay, so the, this machine, uh, I call them uh, pinger machines, they say, try me. It, this is not a real machine, okay? This is just another machine that say, try me. <sighs> All of you, if you see a machine that say, try me, you try, of course. So, the Pinger machine. But, uh, there were a lot of informative machines in the subway station, like I told you before, okay? The machine has informative function to, to search the fastest route or tourist info. That's all. That's all. This is a stupid machine at first. But then, okay, um, there are many, many ways to touch in. It's a touch screen machine, okay? You touch the, the screen, and there are so many ways to go to get some free internet time, to surf on the internet, to check your Facebook, to check your emails. It's very easy. This is so. You have to touch this, uh, this, this icon, then you have to touch in this hyperwrinkle, then you have to, to check, to, to touch this, this thing, and then you have the Google for you, okay? This is so easy, this is not important here. And there are some protection because uh, they try to download an uh, executable X, X file, okay? But there are so many restrictions, canine, okay, this stuff. But is there anything better than a cell? Okay, this, this, this web, this, this machine has a print option. Do, do say print to a file. Then you go to system, 30, system 32 and do drag and drop to the CMD exe, execution. That's all. Most. Trivial, trivial. Okay, then when the guys, these pretty guys that I showed you before, um, uh, has a, a command cell, a uh, CMD, they connect to the FTP and download an, uh, a server of a rat, remote application tool. Okay, that was all. And here you have the black sage or the rat remote application tool with the, to, to look the, the files and all the stuff. This, perfect. But I want to be clear, this is a stupid machine, okay? At first, it's just for informative function. The, I, uh, uh, the, the boys who did all this, this stuff <laughs> thought that it's not important, there is no juicy files, there is no juicy application into these machines. But looking for juicy files, okay. Um, the machine just see the router, okay? First of all, the typical network, net, network scan to see if there are a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, boom, boom, other hosts in the same, in the same network and this stuff, but there is only the, the router. The router was the only one who we can see. But the router has not the default, the default password, but it's okay. But we, they, uh, look at the, at the application who was installed, installed in, in this machine. And they found this application. They said, pingeador. Okay? It's like pinger. 
ping, to make a ping, ICMP, ping, okay, pingeador, pinger machine. I don't know what's that, so I look around, they look around, um, uh, there was there was an interesting application called Pingeador. There was a config file with the SQL server connecting a stream. Perfect. The IP, <laughs> uh, there was a um, public IP, not internal IP. Perfect. Okay. But anyway, I say, well, what was that? This is, this is a stupid machine in the middle of the station. This, I'm pretty sure that this application is not, is not bad, okay? It's, it's harmless, a harmless application. But I am, uh, how it works is uh, he makes a ping to, to, the, to the IP of the server and so on, the three way handshake to connect and this stuff. But here you have all the, connect, all the tables, uh, I make a string, just strings to get the, the strings of the, of the, of the uh, application. And I get the tables, the columns, I get uh, some info about the people who developed this application. And finally, I realized that this application uh, uh, is used to control all the stats of all the country, of all the trains of all the country. Okay? It was the, the stats of um, the time of arrive, the history, and this shit. This is a, a this is a, a stupid machine, a machine just to 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 look the faster road to go some some somewhere, but there is installed this kind of application. Why? Why? Stupid, really stupid. I had the connection stream. Use they have the connection stream. User password and all of this. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I don't see here. I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Possible bugs. Possible bugs. Uh, some parameters are sent to the application. But one of them, called ID terminal, is extracted from a txt file. Txt file. Okay. So. Okay. Just to remember, this is a SQL server. If we have the enough privilege, we have we we are able to draw a drop database, uh, ex exec XP CMD cell net user to other user and connect remotely to the system, or uh, just select all the statics of the uh, of the subway, or just to get some info, some juicy info about the frequency, status, historial, all this stuff, okay? I have a funny story because uh, someday all these machines disappear. So these guys uh, went uh, to, the, to an sta some station to ask to a security man why this machine was not in his place, in his place that the machine used to be. And this guy said to me, say to them, okay, 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 I want to be clear. If I say me, this is because it's so personal for me. I found this story. And, uh, okay. Yeah, oh, it's true. My English is the worst. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was to say. Okay, let's go. Um, so I go there and the, the, uh, the man told to me that, okay, this machine was removed like two, two weeks ago, but um, uh, do you know, I am a hacker. Oh yeah, you look like, you do, you, your job is security, security man. You don't like, like, you don't look like a hacker. You don't have this cool hair dress. Uh, and uh, he, he says, yeah, I know a, a way to go to check my email. And I say, oh, your password is mine. Okay. <laughs> yes, more or less, he was this guy. Okay, okay, let's, let's continue. Getting cheapest subway tickets. This is the kind of tickets used in this city that I don't want to say the name. Uh, 
they try to read a uh, row, okay, the tickets, the magnetic uh, strip. They try to read to, to read it in a, um, in a, in this thing, the credit card reader, okay. But uh, it doesn't work because if you if you strip faster or nor faster, there's different. The dump is different, and okay, it it doesn't it doesn't work. This is the sectors and prices. This is very important. Okay, in these cities there are a lot of sectors. You can see A, B1, B2. You can see it down in the in the left, in the right. Okay, if you want to travel uh, farther, you have to pay more. Typical. Okay, and this is the those are the the prices to travel. Okay. If you go to the A zone, you just pay like 51 euros, uh, I thought. 51, yeah. If you go further, you pay 123. There is a lot of price, a lot of prices and sectors. But you can read Tercera Edad. It's like uh, retired people, old people, okay? The old people, the people who is older than 65 years old, uh, they just pay. 11, 11 euros in all sectors. Cool for them. This is the monthly pass. Okay, there are two important things in this in this pass. That uh, okay. This is the important thing. This number. Well, it's not a number. These letters and numbers. Q. Bah, this thing. And the barcode. Do you see the barcode? The barcode and this pass. Okay? There are two important things. Okay. When I want to. Oh, and another thing is important too. Do you see B2 in the middle, in the head of Lisa Simpson? B2 is the, the, the sector. Okay? Three things the sector, this number, this string, and the barcode. Okay? The barcode in the past is used to renew the monthly ticket. Okay, so I have the, the barcode, I introduce the barcode into the machines, and then I pay and I get the new ticket of this month. Okay? The barcode has uh, this format. But they realize that the barcode is a character and the pass number I showed you before. Okay? This is the barcode. So if we, if we change this character, we can get the other, all other, other people, other people ticket. So it's so cheap. We can travel with the with the older people ticket, and we got generate in the machines. Is not to clone. This is not. I'm. They are. They they was playing for the for the tickets, okay. But they has not uh, 65 years old. So everybody knows W fast, a fussing, fussing, fussing tool, uh, contest application tool, uh, uh, the barp intruder, or I don't know, Hydra to make fussing, fussing things. But the new fussing techniques for them was Fassiman was a guy with barcode trying every barcode in the machines to get what's the real character that he has to use to get the older ticket. Okay, so finally, after try a lot of barcodes, introducing the barcodes in the machines, okay, finally, we got this ticket. This is a 65 years old ticket that we that they generate in the machines. Okay, we can they can generate any 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 number. This is the pass. Uh, it's hacker. Oh, nice. Uh, I, did not realize until now. <laughs> okay, so they thank you. They can travel uh, in all the sectors, only paying the 11 euros. Okay, so nice. <sighs> okay, casualties. The ticket is yellow. Do you see? Yellow ticket. The usual ticket is orange or or, or white. So if uh, someone of the staff 
look at you when you are introducing the ticket in the machine to enter in the subway. Or, and uh, this, this ticket works with the subway, with the buses, with the local trains, with all this stuff. So if, some, if someone, someone of the staff uh, is looking at you when you are in, uh, introducing your ticket in the machines to go to the, to the subway, they say, hey, it's, no, come here. So there, our, our friends, I told you before, had some casualties, 93 euros, because this guy looked at him when he was introducing the tickets. So, but our friends, that was so, so smart, make some improvements in the tickets. <laughs> okay, they just cut the, the magnetic sli strip, strip, st strip, the magnetic strip, and paste it in a usual, in a usual ticket. So, finally, RFID, next target. Okay, uh, there is a new RFID system in the subway. It works with a zone only, do you a, a, a sector, okay, in the middle of the, of the town only. Okay, but RFID is used by the staff. <laughs> okay, the staff holds his RFID in the, in the, in the neck, like you with the, with the batch, with the batches, okay? So it's easy to get close to them to ask a question. <laughs> they are so kind, they are so kind, yep. So, if we mix an Ultrabook or any other computer and a touch tag, this is a reader of RFID tags, just a reader, and you're going for a visit. <laughs> this is a... Um, this, I think, I don't know because I'm not the guy, but I think that this is the um, cigarette box. And you can put the, the touch tag inside the cigarette box and going with the cigarette box asking for a question. Oh, sorry, where is the faster way to go to Bob? Bye. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, you have the doom of the RFID and you just this RFID hacking, okay? to process the information, to get the, the password of it, of it, okay, to get the password and clone it. And finally, you have a RFID keychain key and you can access to all the sectors with this shit, okay? I love the, the word shit in English, so shit. <laughs> okay, thank you. Security cameras, next target. There is a big camera circuit in all the transport network, okay? All the transport network is, is recorded all the time. There are several control centers like this. You can see that was the operating system used by the, by the staff, okay, XP. Um, and there is a wireless network. There is wireless network. So many IPs in all the transport network. <laughs> Okay? What? Nice. <laughs> but, but, wait. The SSID are hidden. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are a lot of antennas, so many, pardon, uh, so many antennas, planar, omnidirect omnidirectional. Okay, that's okay. And there, is, there are APs that are accessible from everyone. Why? <laughs> Man in the middle? Mm, so easy. Okay, but our guys was nice guys. The guys I saw you before, so they did not, did not do anything with these things. They use another AP.
Okay, once inside, there was, there was not the, the HCP. Oh, but Wireshark is our friend. ARP2, of course. So uh, the guys just have to, had to wait to get an ARP packet to know what's the range of the IPs to manually put themselves his, this IP, this subway, this, they, yeah. Okay. First of all, uh, ARP scan, they found three hosts. The, uh, there was a, the, uh, our, our friend, our AP friend, the router and some other host. Port scanner of the host. Typical uh, network pen testing. Typical. I'm not a magician. They was not a magician. So, <laughs> uh, router. The router was, uh, I don't know, do you see, do you see the, the ports open? Yeah? No? Okay. Wait. Uh, 21, 23, 80, and 1998. Nice. Okay, this is the router, but this is the other host. This is my favorite. 23 and 443. Oh, nice. And uh, 50,000. Strange. Okay, I, they saw 443, SS, uh, HTTPS, so they access to this host by uh, throw, through it, uh, HTTPS. And that's what they found. Oh, invalid certificate. Okay, self signed certificate. This is the way. SPC, SPC. What's that? Okay, I'm. Continues, and I arrive here, they arrive here, SPC 5300. I have no idea. They have no idea what was that. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't have idea. I just look the torrent and I f find this information. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And uh, I, I found about this, this hardware, because it's a hardware, okay? And I look what it is used for. And there, there is a web server that, this is the web server, the, the slide before. And you can see, this is, okay, you can control through internet, GMS, wireless detectors, wireless detectors, file warnings, IP cameras, audio gatepad, door control. So, like in a pen testing, I have not the knowledge to do that, but some friend told me that a pen testing is doing like this. Uh, man in the middle, an invalid certificate was used. So it's too easy to use our, our signature uh, certificate in the middle of the, of the client, and we have the credentials in clear. And this is, is, is cool because there is an invalid certificate, so the, the admin is, is used to accept the invalid certificate. Who looks at uh, the fingerprint of the, of the certificate? Okay, I know you are so Greeks, and maybe you are. You did, you do it. Um, but we can go deeper, more funny. Do you remember the port uh, 5000? Uh, no, 50,000, 50, you remember in the port scan? Okay, there is an IP from another net mask, net, net mask, it's okay. So we can take our range and we can start another pen testing on this network, and this network, it's okay. But there is, oh, uh, wait. There is a other, other IP who is sending the same, the same UDP, the, the same length, and all the same by other IP. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my friends know, but they didn't write nothing in the, in the, uh, in the torrent, so I don't know. But we can go deeper. Because we can use an invalid certificate, send it by us, and so on. And finally, our last. Last target, 
train machines used to print tickets from a paid trip. Change tickets, upgrade ticket, cancel tickets, buy tickets with credit cards. Nice. But okay, there, there was an update. Recently, there was an update. Uh, before that, anyone was able to get a login panel. Okay, I want to, to clearize this. Uh, is the, the machines were, were um, touch, touch, uh, touch screen machines, like our first friend. Okay, touch, tag, uh, touch screen machines. So there was a, a place in the, in the screen to, to press this in this zone and to get a, a, a login panel for digits, for numbers only, to get into the, into the admin panel. Social engineering, do you know about that? So we say, oh, what happened with my ticket? I don't know, I introduced my credit card and it's, in, it's in, into the machine, what happened? Oh, wait, 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 beep, beep, beep. four numbers. <laughs> okay, but not now. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, this function disappeared. But we can get full access of all of these machines. These machines are present in all the country, all the stations of all the country, okay? I have a video here. This is the way to access to the CMD in a video. Going, one going, select the destiny, next. Change the, um, the date of the, of the travel. And what's that? <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. Okay, and do you know here, do you know this stuff, who is here, these things? Okay, the, look. Okay. Complements administration. Internet Explorer function. That's all. Complements administration. Internet Explorer has this option. You can click here, down. Okay, it's a little geek only here. Okay, but to get this these windows, and then you push a lot. Uh, you press a lot of time. There. And not responding. <laughs> so, thank you, Microsoft. Oh, not responding. Close. Oh. It's a touch screen. They fail sometimes. Okay, but finally. Pop. Okay. Uh, do you know it, this is small? The 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 the, this, the keyboard on this on the screen is small, and this is a touch screen. This is a shit. Okay, you you want to press A and you press S. You want to press. W and you press M. <laughs> okay, but we have our cell, our CMD. Do you see applications? We are there. There's an internal application who has several fun uh, functions. Accept any credit card, turn on off the alarm, temperature of the machine, you can control the temperature of the machine. <sighs> what? Um, you can open the door, the machine door, so, so, so many stats and parameters of the machine. This is the application. Okay. Here, there are a lot of, uh, so many, so many options. You can do a lot of things with the machines. Remote control. All the time, 
they was behind, uh, in front of the machine with the security cameras here, with the security uh, hacking boys around there, okay? So this is, this is important. So the guys that did all of it um, wants remote control, like every one of you. So uh, there is an application for the remote control, but it can be only used if you are in the internal network. So this is not useful. So they want to remote control the machine, of course. They try to install a Trojan downloading the, ser uh, the server of the Trojan by, through uh, HTTP or HTTPS, but all the requests was for were forbidden. Only, interla only internal web pages were allowed. Try to use FTP, it didn't work. Oh shit. Uh, losing hope. Uh, the machine resolves DNS request. Nice. So they thought, they thought UDP traffic was allowed. Okay? Easy. They tries using FTP through UDP. TFTP. Okay? You know old fashioned TFTP. <laughs> Okay, T TFTP is installed in all, in all Windows versions. Uh, the machines run XP professional. So there was a TFTP client was installed in this machine, so perfect. But timeout. It, it didn't work. But they still thought all UDP, tra UDP traffic were allowed, but only using 53 uh, port DNS. So, um, TFT used 69 by default, so they changed the uh, TFTP uh, control setting, settings to change the TFTP destination uh, port to the 53. And then in his house, they make a NAT to redirect, you know, NAT. But time out. Yeah. But finally, they realize that this is the network map. The machines, router, DNS, a firewall, and the lovely internet. Okay, uh, all the traffic uh, sent from router to internet is drop, dropped. It's not allowed. But the DNS has a rule in the firewall that allow all the traffic only if the traffic uh, uh, come from this DNS. If you make an NS lookup uh, directly to Google, it doesn't work. You have to use this DNS and use the implementation of the DNS protocol. Okay? If I have no information, I uh, ask to another DNS and this, these things. So, this is the same I, I, um, I told you. So, whoop, 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 whoop. okay, okay. To remotely control the machine, they had to use a RAT, remote application tool, through DNS. No, right? There is an interesting project called DNSCAT, who makes something like that. But our friends uh, were a bunch of geeks. <laughs> you know, this friend, uh, oh. I think it's maybe more than the first one, the real guy. I think so. So these guys uh, developed a modular rat using Python. Yeah, Python. It's heavy because you have to use Py2x to convert, to load all the libraries. It's heavy, but it's so easy to develop. It's too easy, okay? The rat server, okay? The server who was installed in the machine, in the hacked machine, um, just asked to a DNS server for a register, okay? The DNS uh, uh, response, and if some of the response has some pattern, the infected system did some action. Okay, if you uh, if you resolve my domain, um, it's uh, one two three fifty two. The DN the DNS tool uh, take uh, the fifty two and says, oh, fifty two is dir, a directory listing maybe, or is whatever. Um, uh, it did not establish, establish a connection, okay? Nice. Finally, the executable file was downloaded using TXT records of a controlled DNS server, okay? We have to install the server, the server of this Python tool. 
So, uh, oh. bah, perfect. They use BAT to make the DNS requests, the machine works remotely under their control. Perfect. Pivoting. The operating system used in the machine was XP as, uh, Service Pack 2. Somebody knows NetAPI? NetAPI or NetAPI or NetAPI in Spanish? And this is the final slide you can hold. Uh, once the machine and all the other NetAPI machines was under control, it's time to look for UEC application and files. All the machines stored without encryption the CC dumps of the clients, the credit card of all the clients. It's not necessary to make a hooking of the application. It's not necessary. Is there? Okay. It means that the bad guys, if those guys I told you before, if they were bad, bad guys, they are, they are able to get all the CC dumps of all the customers of the entire transport network of the country, of all the country. Okay, so epic fail. Okay, that, that's all. I want to thank you for listening to me here today. I want to wait. I, I want to appreciate the, the real guys who, that did all I have told you. To all of you for listening to me today, of course. This is I'm so proud to be here to be with you. To my family, a friend. This is yeah. I appreciate that. And all those who want to understand how and why things work. Okay, continues in this way. Thank you.